Hello, hello, my dear friends, welcome to Inside the Electronic Channel, this is Uncle Misha. We have today a solar panel on our bench, and we're gonna take a look what the hell is this. The reason I need the solar panel, because I would like to test, um, test it, first of all, and secondly, I wanna go camping, and I would like to have a solar panel when there is no power source in reach. So they're gonna see the capacity or or power of this panel. They claim, the, 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 the name brand, sorry, there is a sticker with my address on the other side, so I'm not gonna show it to you, but it's uh, the brand is El Cayenta uh, LSFC30, so this is 30 watt. It, it has USB-A, USB-QC, uh, and Type-C, so 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, power delivery 18 volt, and through Qualcomm 3.0, maximum energy 24 watt, set watt, volts, power delivery 18 watts, and through QC is 24 watts. Like that's remain to be seen. So we're gonna we're gonna check the uh, all that. But first, let's just open it up and see what inside. Alright, so that this thing was shipped in their original product packaging, which I don't like. I, I I think I tried to ask them not to do so, but they still did it. Because and then that means I have to nicely open it. Because who knows, maybe this shit has to go back. Alright. Oh wow, it's big. It is big. Okay, so this is what we have. We have two branded carbines, sort of user manual, and the panel. It's actually pretty big and heavy. And they've done this shitty packaging that means they have to like open it up before you like essentially rip it before use. All right. Okay, so here is the panel. I'm not sure why it's so heavy. Let me see how heavy is this. It's actually one kilo precisely. I'm not sure if you see it. You see that? One kilo. Yeah. So this thing weighs one, that's a lot actually, so if you compare with the power bank, like for example here is like one of the power banks I reviewed before, it's like half of this weight, so who knows, maybe there is a, doesn't make sense to carry this thing around, just take two power banks like this fully charged, it'll be pretty good, okay, it's a good question, it's a good question, and price wise it'll be pretty much the same. So if you are interested to purchase, obviously I'm gonna have uh, give you a link. Okay, uh huh. So it's a sort of different kind of panel. Oh, I must tell you that I do have a panel like this. Okay, this is much lighter. It's probably weighs five, half like half of it. Okay, and I just don't remember the power rating of this. Does it say? It doesn't not. But this guy has issues, so yeah. And it has three panels. I think this one is four. So let's gonna put it. We're gonna return to that, that, that this other panel later. So this gentleman has four panels. Okay, one, two, three, four. There's some kind of defects here, of course. So this guy claim this panel is of a type of uh, shit E. It has I am um, okay. So let's just talk about it. It's a monocrystalline monocrystalline panel. Okay, it's uh, it says it has waterproof standard IPX5, whatever it means. Okay, and the rest of this is like 30 watts. So we're gonna test that. But so far, let's take a look what we have. Okay, so we have a converter here, which has USB-C, USB-A, and USB whatever, red, probably. 
it says nothing really here let me see if they say anything here about those ports of course nothing clearly they indicate that indoor it's not gonna work so I have some bit of light here in the in the studio yeah you see the the LED it actually shines uh -huh, and it's the power on all four panels shines I'm not sure how much energy this thing gonna s provide but let's let me take this cable just plop it here in the red port whatever it means and just plop this into the Well, it, it sort of provides some energy, 4.4 volts here and there. So yeah, it's kicking, it's definitely kicking. So here is the, uh, so dimensions of the panel is, let me re measure them because it's a, it's a pretty big thing. It's really hard. So folded dimensions are 29 centimeters by, 18 centimeters and expanded dimensions obviously 29 will remain right 20 29 but like it's unfolded gonna be like 43 another 43 that's the maximum length of this particular and Five, 43, 43 and 5 so 91 centimeters so this thing is long okay and bulky so keep that in mind so if you're gonna carry that somewhere in backpacking I think it's gonna be too heavy it's my opinion I think it's too heavy yeah but we have to uh, double check that so yeah because if you for example car camping is not that a big deal you can charge it from the car or from in discovery center of your campground but if you are backpacking so one kilo is a little bit too much uh, I think so that has to be uh, kept into taken into account so I'm not yeah I'm not I'm still not sold was the best course of action here so Mm -hmm. All right, so let's just stop here. And what we're gonna do next? Uh, we're gonna put this thing out in the sun uh, and see if it's gonna charge. And uh, we'll try to uh, record or at least see the capacity uh, provided, the energy provided. Because this particular guy is a, it has a display. So I had reviewed this thing later, uh, and this display actually shows the charging current. A capacity and charging voltage so this is very very useful I have this device as well uh, which is not uh, too bad but the only downside I do not have a um, software loaded anywhere so because this is Chinese software I don't really trust it too much unless I'm gonna have some kind of burner phone otherwise I want I want um, you know I won't use it so I have to like probably get the, the I call it burner phone like there is no personal information there is nothing on it not even logged into Google or anything like ah, I cannot log into Google cannot not log into Google because I would need to have um how do you call it account in order to uh, upload the app unless I side load it so there is the issues have to you know um, Three issues of trust with some kind of unknown uh, applications. Before I install them, I have to make sure we are safe. Uh, okay, so I just in the meantime, I'm gonna just plug this into here, put this onto the sun, and see how it performs. So this is the setup. So I have two uh, panels, but actually I'm on, only interested in this one. I'm just testing another one just for giggles. So here's the full bloody sun. This is like 1 p.m. Uh, in June. Pretty. Um, pretty bright sun so I kind of angled the panel a little bit towards the sun all right maybe not the ideal case but anyway so we have focus we have 0 0.8 a 9 volt and 1 amp a little bit more than one it was actually 1.2 at some point so this is as, as best I think I can do 
okay as best you can get so charging my um, pixel 8 pro so here is my setup where i connected uh, 26 uh, ampere hour power bank to the solar panel and as you see it's like 8.9 volt 1.8 Am. So it's not doing too too bad. It's gonna charge this power bank fairly quickly. Interesting. Here's something else happening. Uh, fortunately, it's kind of glaring. So we have nine volts, 1.7 amp hour. So this thing is actually cranking up quite substantially. On oh, here is the screen. Oh my god, it's so bright. Hope you're gonna see that. Oh, it's barely barely visible, but it says. 8.9 volt 1.6 amp so yeah it's pushing it it's actually it was 98 percent now it's 99 yeah it's really hard to see it's super bright obviously outside okay 99 percent and it's like pushing really hard so yeah it's it's actually doing well i'm not sure how long it's gonna last in this kind of mode but it started actually almost at 1.7 now it's kind of dropped a bit i don't know why That's positive. Let's see what's happened when we will be using um, micro USB. Okay, I have connected micro USB, and it's actually going into 8.5 volt, 1.4 amp power delivery through micro USB. It's not. Oh, it dropped to 4.5. Yeah, it's actually going up and down. So 8.7, 1.4. For some reason, it's actually dropped into. 4.5 but it's that's actually positive this is positive i thought it's gonna be worse but it's like midnight sun sorry midday sun so it's like crazy crazy bright okay let me try to charge two phones in the same time here i'm charging yeah i'm no, sorry not what the best video but here i'm charging a power bank a 8.5 volt it's probably because of the uh, voltage drop and was almost one amp now it's like 0 0.8 and here we're charging the uh, um, lg g7 the five volt almost one amp so five watts go here okay and how many watts like almost almost nine watts go in there so yeah it's like 13 watts at the maximum at the full freaking brightest sun ever possible actually it's actually going up so now we have 8.8 .8 volt 1.3 amps it's kind of good to have this like little display here which actually shows the in current um okay well i think it's better than i expected a little bit better a little bit better so i took this uh, solar panel with me camping uh, that was ca canoe camping essentially back backpacking back country camping and uh, if you want to do that probably don't do that because this pa pa panel is about one kilogram heavy so in the conclusion probably it's better to take two uh, 26 ampere hours power bank rather than this solar panel because it's uh, weather dependent it's, uh, big times but Nevertheless, it was still useful to charge some devices and for example, my Pixel phone was charged fully twice. So that's pretty decent performance. Uh, out panel output was rated about 18 uh, watts. It's nowhere near uh, advertised 30 watts. And again, it was at 5% midday uh, sun, not a single cloud in, in the sky. Uh, at open uh, area angled towards the sun. Obviously, it was not tracking uh, sun 100% because it's very hard to do with the, such a flexible solar panel. You need pro proper rig. Um, it was not overheating because when I was charging, I was using some uh, logs under the panel just to have some uh, um, ventilation underneath. So it was not overheating. So in general, this panel actually performs better than what I have the other so solar panel, but it's substantially heavier. Um, so it can do the job. Probably it can, you know, I'll, uh, in the most optimal condition, it probably can squeeze another something two, um, uh, two watts or something. But like, definitely not thirty watt. Maybe in Sahara Desert, uh, in some ideal solar position, you can get thirty watt. I have no idea. But here in Canada, probably you won't um get ever close to 30 watts so i recommend 
If you get to this panel on cheap, so probably it's okay to have it, but not used for backpacking because it is too heavy. Uh, but if you're gonna get it on sale or something, it's okay to have it around. Maybe when you have car camping or when, when you have like um, some kind of walking camping and you don't have to truck for miles, you can still use it. Uh, uh, yeah. But in general, I think this product is okay. It's, uh, it still delivers uh, quite a bit of energy and can charge your devices. So I think this is going to be it for now. Uh, if, um, I think it's going to wrap up. I would be like not nay or yay about this product. So this is my general conclusion. So guys, if you want to see more videos like that, please subscribe, like, comment. I'd like to hear from you and uh, please stay tuned for more videos, stay safe and ciao!